Ryan Scott Oliver is one of the newest, and actually not so new because I've known his music for a while. It's been a, it's been a minute. <laughs> but he writes the best sarcastic, um, dark, interesting music that I've heard in a long time. Let's make it dark and interesting. That sounds that sounds good. One of my favorite songs is the Happy Song. Make me happy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me how that came about? Well, uh, it's for my show, 35 Millimeter, a musical exhibition, and uh, it was one of the early songs I wrote for that show. Um, I, you know, my husband, whose uh, photographs the show is based on, um, we were falling in love uh, when we were uh, creating the show, and it's literally just a song about us, and I knew that I wanted to write a love duet, and um, as a lot of writers agree, writing a love song is very difficult, um, but when you have a little bit of an in, or a little bit of an edge, uh, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, that music is infectious. Thank you. I, I, seriously, yeah, I play it all the time. Um, Sarah Berry. Yeah. Can we ever see a musical based on Sarah Berry? You know, you're not the first person to ask that. I, I, I get asked that a lot. And also, the number of young people who create, I didn't know what this was, an animatic. Which oh, Which yes. is basically a YouTube video of, you know, essentially cartoons. The, the young people love to make the animations with it. So um, someone's going to make a movie of it at some point. What are you working on now? Working on a couple of new pro uh, projects. I, I try to write uh, a new musical every year. Uh, and uh, one of them is uh, based on Truman Capote's Black and White Ball in oh, 1966 yeah. at the Plaza Hotel and the fallout and kind of the betrayals and there was some, of course it's me, so there's darkness and there's death and there's suicide and there's murder because of course that has to be in it. Uh, and uh, my collaborator Kirsten Gunther and I are working on that and we're very excited. We're just diving in this year. Um, has any theater yet commissioned you? Yeah, no, I have a number of commissions right now. That one is a commission with Fourth Wall Theatricals. Uh, I have a couple of university commissions, which are great, because it's like you get all that development with wonderful young people. Um, and and then tying up some other things from the past as well. You work a lot with J.A. Johnson, yes, um, yeah. Lindsay Mendez, mm -hmm. and Alex Brightman, yeah. and I'm forgetting one. Natalie. Yes, yes, yes. What? Who, what singers would you like to work with that you haven't had a chance to write for? Ooh, um, Sammy Williams, who was just in Carolina Change, is just absolutely incredible. Um, uh, and she was actually a, a student of mine a long, long time ago, and now she's blown up, and she's amazing. There's actually, I went to high school with Angel Blue, who just won a Grammy last night. She's an opera singer. Um, most people just saw her as Bess and Porgy and Bess uh, over at uh, the Met. Um, she, she's an old friend from high school, but we haven't reconnected, so I hope that Angel and I get to work together very soon because she's pretty stunned. So it's a very incestuous group. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, what project would you like to take on? What subject matter that you haven't had a chance? I always want to write a Stephen King musical, mm -hmm. but um, you know, there's been, <laughs> there's been some history with Stephen King and Broadway, uh, so it gets really difficult, but uh, my hope is that uh, uh, I'll get the chance at some point. And what does winning the Kleban Award mean to you? Oh, you know, uh, it couldn't have come at a better time. Um, you know, as, as many people have noted, I, I've been doing this uh, a bit longer than the average person who wins this award. Um, and I well, actually, applied. not really. They oh, is that true? People, people that were very famous won it, and oh. it wasn't until later in their lives. Well, fabulous. That's good to know that I'm, that, that I'm, not, that I'm not behind. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's, you know, when they called to, uh, to tell me, I just said it was a dream come true, and I just couldn't believe it was happening, and I still can't believe it's happening. They say that eyes are the windows of the soul, okay. but I think that songs are. Okay. What song or cycle of songs tells us who Ryan Scott Oliver is? Well, I think you're going to hear one and maybe two of them today uh, at, this, uh, at this celebration. Um, I wrote a song called Map of Scars, and uh, it's from a show called We Foxes, and... Uh, it's very personal, and it's uh, very personal, I think, for any artist or really truly any human being who, who is finding themselves at the, uh, without feeling like they have a, a path forward and finding the courage and the strength to, to keep going, believing well, in yourself. Well, I cheered when I saw your name, and I'm so glad that you won. Thank you so much. You're welcome.